Gerber takes a very challenged approach to their courses. And for the most part, that works for a lot of things. It's going to be a little harder here with linters. So we're going to do a little bit more slides, but we're going to have a nice challenge at the end, should you choose to accept it. And I hope you do. <laughs> so what is a linter? What it basically does is it's some conventions in your code to make sure that you're standardizing it and make your code more readable a lot of times and better. It could be simple things like missing white space where you can see that yellow squiggly there and you hover over, go and tell you what you need to do to fix it, right? What the issues are. It could be other things like disallowing console logs and even breaking it out between, oh yeah, you're allowed a console log and a console table, but maybe not a console info. It's very powerful. It can do quite a few things. It can even enforce standards in your code such as public variables go after private or vice versa and so on and so forth no empty constructors in your classes a lot of things and they're usually very customizable and on top of that there's a lot of already predefined ones that you can just import you don't have to go and figure this all out on yourself i like to go in sometimes and tweak it to make it more strict i think strict is good now one thing i would tell you to make your life a little bit easier depending on which ide you're going to use there's usually going to be a setting you can turn on that it auto lints for you as you go, if it can. It may not always be able to because the actual linting may, in fact, be more of a warning, hey, this might change your logic. But if it doesn't change the logic, you can go ahead and, in VS Code, at least have it format on save, as well as have it fix the linting errors it can on save and just let it automate that process, make your life a little bit easier. Now, I do have a bonus challenge here for you. I'm not going to go on this journey with you but I'm going to go on the rest of it with you. So don't, don't worry about that. But what I'd like you to do is go ahead and add ESLint to one of your GitHub projects that you have out there. Something where you're like, hey, I don't have a linter on here. I want to see maybe what it will tell me, how I can improve. I've included the link here to the getting started guide on ESLint.org. And just keep in mind, depending on the IDE or text that you're using, you may have to add an extension, but uh, the guide should walk you through all that. Good luck. I hope you do it, and I hope you do it in all your future projects. Let's go ahead and move on with the course.